Hello, today we are going to discuss current trends in tetanus vaccine. Many decades we are using tetanus vaccination and because of the effective vaccination, the deadly disease is almost in elimination stage in many countries including India. But what is the current state? What are the current trends? This presentation is going to throw light on this. Primary vaccination, especially childhood and adolescence, what you are using that is very important. We are using tetanus toxoid along with diphtheria pertussis. So we call it as triple, triple vaccine DPT. What is the thing about the tet? I am going to talk about only the tetanus. Okay, usually it is 0.5 ml, root is intramuscular, and preferably upper arm deltoid, site is deltoid. What is toxoid? It is nothing but detoxified toxin. So, detoxified diphtheria. Toxin is called toxoid or tetanus toxin is called toxoid. In primary, very first dose 6 weeks. Now we are giving along with pentavalent DPT with HIB, haemophilus influenza B and hepatitis B virus. Second dose is on 10th week and third dose is 14 weeks. 6, 10 and 14 weeks we need to give. After that, 16 to 24 months, we can give first to booster dose of DPT, only 3. 6, 10, 14, we have 5 vaccines, pentavalent, but 16 to 24 up to, to second year, first to booster dose and 4 to 6 years, second booster dose. And it is not advisable to give DPT after 7 years. Next is, in case of adolescent, previously we gave tetanus toxoid and everybody knows the update. Now the tetanus toxoid replaced by tetanus diphtheria. You have the doubt, sir, in the red color you can give diphtheria capital D, here it is small d. Here DPT, anything in capital letter, the antigen is strong, high titer. If it is small alphabet, small letters, that means they prefer for adults. Low titer, the strength is low. So, we can give on 10 years one dose, 16 years is another dose. So, 5 plus 2, before reaching the adult stage, childhood and adolescent, we need to give 7 doses. This is comes under primary vaccination. Next is, in case of adult, there are different combinations are there. First one, whether the person is completed primary vaccination. Previously we have seen, if they completed all the primary vaccination, then 18 to 64 years, every 10 year you can give a booster dose of tetanus diphtheria toxide, TD. Every 10 years. But remember, one tetanus, diphtheria, adult and acellular pertussis adult for TD, you can replace. For example, 18 to 64, you can give 4 doses or 5 doses. In between, you can give one TDAP. You can replace TD. Suppose the person is not completing, they are not undergone previous vaccination, then you can give zero dose after that four weeks from the second dose six to twelve months the third dose among the three dose here also one tdap you can give hope you understand this next is very very important pregnancy pregnancy suppose if that TD vaccine is more than 10 years ago, then you can give a single dose of TD. That also second or third trimester. 
suppose td is less than 10 years but last it was more than 2 years it is within 10 years range but it is more than 2 years for example third year or fourth year then you can give single dose tdap which time very important immediately postpartum immediately postpartum suppose no previous vaccination then you can go for td of 0 4 weeks and 6 to 12 months as usual one tdap for td this is for pregnancy and one more condition also there which is in practice yes first at early pregnancy second dose four weeks after td1 and one is called tdb that means if the pregnancy occurs within three years of the first pregnancy and they have the history of receiving first two doses successfully td1 and td2 then you can give one is called tdb so for this is for add-on pregnancy next is the common problem what we are facing is these are all normal these are all normal in the sense routine but when the problem arises the patient comes with injury he comes with some wound that time only we should know whether he is eligible or not what type of vaccination is needed see here in case of adult he comes with wound first check the wound whether it is clean wound or contaminated wound major contaminated wound in the sense it contains dirt mud fecal material many things many lacerated wounds are contaminated wounds. your first question whether the person is immunized or not previous history of vaccination present or not if the person is yes previous previously was immunized then the question the duration if it is more than 10 years for clean wound or if it is more than 5 years for contaminated wound you can give one TD single dose TD clean wound the cutoff period is 10 years where the contaminated wound cutoff period is 5 years suppose if the person says no sir I am not having any history of vaccination non immunized or he may not be aware of immun immunized status you consider non immunized in case of non immunized clean wound you can give single dose TD and in case of non immunized contaminated wound yes very important you need to give single dose TD with tetanus immunoglobulin the one and only place where you are using tetanus immunoglobulin is contaminated wound for non immunized individuals and please remember should not give tetanus immunoglobulin at any cost in previously immunized individual in previously the person is exposed to tetanus toxoid or TD should not give tetanus immunoglobulin so people understand this very practical next is contraindications as usual any vaccine if the person is allergic to any component of the vaccine like thiomersol any preservative we should not give the vaccine and TDAP especially history of encephalopathy severe acute illness or unstable neurological conditions like coma stroke or arthritis reaction you should not give suppose in case of severe acute illness if when the illness is cleared you can give okay so these are all the current trends and basic facts about uh, tetanus vaccination thank you very much soon i will meet you with one more presentation thanks again